प्लीज लेट मी नो एवरीथिंग इज फाइन ऑडियो वीडियो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एन टी ए यू जी सी नेट जून ट्वेंटी दिस एंड एयर पेपर टू इज मैनेजमेंट और कॉमर्स दिस सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी मच हेल्पफुल फॉर देम इन टूडेज सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट श्योर शॉर्ट टॉपिक ऑफ मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट दैट इज द प्रोडक्ट डिसीजन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी फीलिंग कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट द क्वेश्चन विच विल बी आस्ड फ्रॉम द मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट यूनिट स्पेशली फ्रॉम द प्रोडक्ट डिसीजन टॉपिक ओके बिफोर स्टार्टिंग देर इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर यू दैट द एन टी ए यू जी सी नेट जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जाम इज वेरी क्लोज नाउ एंड टूडे इट सेल्फ एन टी ए इज गोइंग टू रिलीज द एप्लीकेशन and uh, we are offering the complete course on commerce and management to boost up your preparation if you take this course you will get complete video lectures complete syllabus notes then uh, on daily basis you will get live lectures full syllabus mock test will also be provided pyq test will detailed solution will be provided and mcq practice sessions will also be provided and the biggest advantage of this course is if you pay, take paper 2 course you will get paper 1 totally free so the new batch is going to start from 22nd april you can take the advantage of this batch and qualify your jrf fees is 10000 but after 20% discount it's available in 8000 only you can get both the papers so to join download the global online app and through and contact the given numbers first of all if you want to join directly from the uh, app you should click on the store section uh, open the app click on the store section search ugc net management or commerce whatever then after you will get payment option and then uh, you can after making the payment you can access all the content provided there so let's begin without waste much time now let's see what uh, what's the means the product what are product decisions first understand that product decisions is what in it's a major decision in respect to marketing and it refers to basically companies mindful decisions either it can be major or it can be minor these decisions are mainly concerned with the product its ranks these are the in the first p four p's of marketing which are part of the marketing mix the concept was given by james mc kathy you should know that and this uh, product decisions are the first p in the product price place and promotion and the organization take uh, take this decisions to attain their objectives and economic profitable in the long run every company wants to attain profit in the long run so they have to take appropriate decisions regarding their product is there any voice issue today voice is getting anyone else facing this problem now let's understand what is product a product is basically a, an item offered for sale okay a product is what it is a, an item offered for sale and it can be a service or it can be an item both you can remember it as simple interest what comes under the product service as well as inter, item okay and it can be physical or virtual or in cyber form okay a product can be in the virtual or cyber uh, form and every product can be made up at a cost okay there is a manufacturing cost involved in making making the product or uh, it similarly it often uh, offers in often in the occurs in the case of um, um, providing services okay so while selling the product the, the consumer uh, the consumer has to pay certain prices and the seller also charges some prices for buying uh, to buy the product okay then what uh, the prices which are charged are according to the market according to the product quality and according to the marketing okay the segments which are targeted is another aspect i think your mic sometimes for away no no it's all right 
Let me check once. Okay. Okay. So basically, the segment which uh, which a company is targeting is an also an important aspect. Now let's see what are the differences between the products and services. What are the differences between the products and services? Let's check one by one. Product uh, a product is an tangible uh, tangible in nature, whereas services is intangible in nature. Product is storable in nature, and uh, services are perishable in nature. Then control uh, quality control um, can be used with the help of gathering proper data, and um, you have to define proper quality and experience, uh, and it is. is derived by proper customers and experience okay suppose you are flying by flight how was your experience that will define what type of service quality the air indigo or air arabia is offering now everything is fine please let me know once now what you have to for you can measure the output of the product and in case of service you can measure the outcome okay you can measure the outcome as the outcome is measured in context of service and in context of product output is measured now product can be repeatable means if you want uh, if you have purchased milk and on the another day you want to buy milk you can go and buy the milk it, it can be repeated in nature but in case of services it's very difficult to receive repeat the service suppose if you ask me that Uh, sir please take this uh, entire unit marketing again so it will be very difficult for me because service is what it is perishable in nature it can product can be patented but uh, it's very difficult in case of service to make it uh, to get it patented now let's see what are the types of product what are the types of products let's see first of all products are categorized into two categories one are the consumer goods or consumer products or another are the industrial goods or industrial products now in case of consumer goods some are the convenience goods in case of shop another are the shopping goods then specialty goods and another is the special unsold goods okay you can remember it by cu s square cu s square means what convenience goods then u for unsold goods s for shopping goods and s for s for specialty goods the in this way you can remember because you can you will be given examples of multiple goods and they will ask you to identify uh, what are the um, uh, what are these either convenience goods or specialty goods or whatever then on the other hand we have industrial goods or products in here we get the raw material then fabricating parts and materials are there the installation goods are there like solar panels solar electric appliances then accessory equipments are there and operating supplies these are the things which are which are offered in the market now let's see what the classification here the in case of consumer goods consumer goods are what are directed to the uh, ultimate consumer means whosoever the end users consumer goods are provided to them then buyer seeks the good the buyer goes and purchase the goods suppose if you want to have pizza you pizza will not uh, pizza will not be delivered to your home unless you will uh, alt order order it for to have the pizza either you have to go to domino or you will order uh, by using domino app okay then marketing is important in case of consumer goods marketing is becomes very much important aspect in case of industrial goods it is used to produce the another go other goods and services okay in case of industrial goods uh, market it is used to produce other goods and services raw materials components are, are and equipments are used then vendor seeks the buyer okay whosoever company is offering the product they will search for the respective buyer and who will buy the product from the vendor okay now what are the classification of products classification of products means it is talking about specifically consumer products what are the types of consumer products first one is the convenience product convenience is product is what it's relatively inexpensive these are quite cheaper products and um, basically uh, uh, you make a very little sh shopping efforts you have to make for example you want milk 
you want uh, ice cream what is that these are the convenience product in any dairy shop nearby your home you can get this milk and ice cream then shopping shopping products shopping products what like what laptops these are examples of shopping products that you requires to compa comparison shopping suppose uh, you will think well, which laptop i should buy dell asus hp which i want to buy you will think n number of times and then you will buy because it is not possible for you to buy it again and again you have to think and buy because this is a one time expense and these are found in the fewer stores okay in everywhere uh, everywhere you will not get laptop in specific electronic computer based shops you will get the laptop then specialty product specialty product is what it's a particular item which consumers search extensively here specialty products means what like apple iphone rolex watches so these are what these are the specialty products for which the consumer search in extensive way and reluctant to accept the substitutes means here customers are not ready to accept uh, uh, accept substitutes for example if you want to have nescafe tea you will have uh, sorry nescafe coffee you will uh, have it uh, only nescafe you will not prefer any other brand or unsold goods which what the goods which are not liked by the consumer a consumer dislike such type of products such as insurance and here uh, the consumer are not much active in case of buying this products now let's see types of consumer products types of consumer products are what convenience goods shopping goods specialty goods and unsold goods okay so consumer buying behavior what type of consumer buying behavior in case of consumer uh, in case of convenience goods so these are frequent purchase here purchase uh, little planning is done then little comparison is done about uh, m around multi uh, so, uh, sorry among multiple brands and sh small shopping efforts is then low customer involvement the customer involvement is also low in case of convenience products then in case of shopping products here um, the consumer frequent purchase frequency is very less they need to do a lot of planning they involve they are highly involved in the shopping of such goods they compare multiple brands and um, according to their price quality and style then comes about specialty goods specialty goods are the goods which are which people prefer strong brands okay like apple apple iphone rolex watches and another some in case of also observed in case of food products then they are loyal to a specific brand special purchase efforts is done little comparison of brand uh, brand com the extent of comparison among brands is low in case of specialty products and there is low price sensitivity the price sensitivity observed in case of specialty product is low then unsold goods unsold goods there here product awareness low among the customers and they have low knowledge about the product or very uh, aware to up to a very little extent and they are uh, no interest their interest is almost nil then what are the prices what about the prices here low price products are uh, sold then in case of shopping goods high price is charged then in case of specialty products here also high price is charged and here it varies according to product to product then distribution what type of distribution strategy is adopted for distributing the products in case of convenience intensive distribution strategy is adopted okay widespread mass distribution is done then in case of shopping goods selective distribution in grocery store you will not keep the laptop okay so these are the selective selective distribution strategies adopted in case of specialty goods like bmw cars here only a one or two store is available in a entire city so here exclusive distribution is adopted and very few outlets are available and in case of unsold goods it varies according to product to product then promotional in case of consumer goods mass promotional efforts is required in case of convenience goods in case of shopping goods here um, advertising and personal selling both uh, both the producer and the seller resellers have to make efforts in case of specialty goods more carefully targeted you select the um, niche market or target the market very uh, after doing um, a lot of research from both the parties from by the producer also and by the reseller also research activities carried out in uh, huge bulk
then unsold goods unsold goods are what in case of unsold goods aggressive advertising is there then personal selling is um, uh, personal selling is required in case of unsold goods and the examples now comes about the examples like toothpaste mag magazines laundry laundry detergents are the example of convenience goods in case of shopping goods major appliances like television furnitures are the examples of shopping goods in case of specialty goods like luxury goods like such as rolex wa watches fa fine other things are Uh, the examples of specialty goods and in case of unsold goods unsold goods life insurance and uh, red cross blood donation are the examples of unsold goods okay is everything clear till here please let me know okay now let's move ahead so uh, these are the types of industrial goods raw material raw material is what that is uh, that is used by the manufactured classified under the manufacturing material which includes the product like cotton sugar uh, cotton sugar cane oil seeds and um, natural products such as minerals uh, minerals gas iron ore fish and lumber etc okay then manufacturing material and parts these are the again of two types one are the components material like glass uh, iron plastic and component parts such as the electric bulbs okay electric bells steering and battery okay these are the manufactured these are the manufactured parts and are the second type classified under the industrial products now let's see what are the installation goods like elevators uh, mainframe computers and another uh, sir equ some equipments like uh, hard tools uh, solar panels solar electronic uh, electronic or solar geyser these are what the for this you need to do a lot of installation activity so these are the installation products and supplies and business services Sur supplies and business services are what these are the short lasting goods okay these are the short lasting goods and services that facilitates the developing or managing the finished products okay that are used for developing or managing the finished products any of the any of the short term goods or the material that is necessary for the day to day uh, day to day operations or company or a business is termed as supplies okay for example for making uh, for making ice cream what is required milk so milk is covered under what milk is covered under the supplies is everything clear till now please let me know let's take a short break okay now let's uh, let's see how you create a product strategy in five steps Pro these are this can be a step based question for you that first of all you will do what you will talk with your prospects then you will develop a high level vision after that you will define the products goals what are the goals of the products you will define them then use those goods to guide the uh, road map after after making the goal you will uh, decide uh, guide the road map and continuously review whether the product vision and strategies are properly implemented going uh, going working accordingly or not you will keep a check on it now what are the five levels of the products so these are the five levels of products it uh, the short form to remember is the trick to remember this is c gip c gip means what core product generic product expected product augmented product and potential products these are the five types which you generally observe in case of product now first of all understand uh, we will i will let you know uh, from here and later on we will understand in detail with example core product is what which fulfill the basic benefit like consumer wants okay generic product is what generic product provide the actual products okay actual product with tangible tangible qualities okay tangible qualities for example you want dress the you will be offered uh, the you will see the dresses of multiple brands so this is generate with expected products is what here generic products plus offer plus other attributes the consumer want whatever for suppose if you want to buy shirt you will need a pant with shirt so this is what this is expected product augmented products is what where additional value addition is done so it gives more than the physical products and the sets apart from the 
a competitor. Okay? What makes you different from the competitors is the augmented products and potential products is what potential products provide the uh, additional tangible and intangible features so potential products is com combination of what it is the marginal level where you get both tangible and in uh, intangible benefits on additional basis <coughs> now let's see one by one core product is what core products it is the basic level um, the utility that you providing with the products form form to the products or to the consumer or the core service the more important is the utility what type of utility benefit you want uh, what uh, it provides you know you want it will provide suppose engineering the lesser players uh, in the market and lesser the competition then basic product if we talk about the restaurants there are various types of restaurants some are uh, three star some are four star some are five star and some are seven star so here what type of the, however the basic level of uh, restaurant is what is one in brown your locality offering basic food okay if a hotel uh, if a hotel wanted to turn into in the core products rest of uh, rest of its food into the basic product okay the basic product on building of the hotel suppose there was a stall it was offering puri, pu, puri chole samose dose all uh, other things but whenever when it is offering you rest and food so that is what that is the hotel this is what this is basic product expected product is what here continues on uh, we uh, continue we will uh, continue with the other with the example uh, going to the five star five star hotel uh, one expects what one expects a bid uh, a bid and a normal food no here the expectation is built on the fact that the hotel is a five star hotel okay the hotel is particular xyz hotel is a five star hotel and the brand here uh, the, it comes in case of expected products brand reputation comes into picture and it has to take care about the expectation in case of expected products the um, consumer uh, uh, sorry the company has to take care about the what type of expectation does the customer or the consumer have okay then augmented products we have these are the uh, these are the products which saw beyond the expectations of the customer okay these products are beyond the expectations of the consumers and went on to provide means you are exceeding the consumer satisfaction okay you are ex exceeding the customer satisfaction so the point where you are exceeding the customer satisfaction is what is the augmented product okay this level is called augmented product for example suppose you went to a hotel you booked the room for you and here you had just expected that there will be a bedroom washroom and uh, good bed will be provided tv but where you get you and you check in the summer season they are offering coolers cooler facility so this is what this is augmented product means jo seller ne nahi jo customer ne nahi socha hai wo bhi de rahe then we have potential products potential products with what each and every company uh, explores the potential the products uh, already we have already we have in the market a best example of potential products is what rivalry between the facebook and google for virtual reality these two companies are generally famous for virtual reality so what type of uh, products they are offering they here uh, facebook has uh, oculus oculus rift for game for gaming and the google is offering google class for day to day usage okay each of them is uh, progressing forward moving ahead to uh, be dominant in the potential products means virtual reality now this is the spin ball color classification of the products so some are the red products some are orange products and some are yellow products yellow products is what in case of red products the repression replacement rate is high here medium and here low now gross margin gross margin in case of red products is low here medium and here it uh, gross margin is uh, in case of yellow products is very high then adjustment here people are not ready to adjust here adjustment is medium and here adjustment is very high then time of consumer here very less frequency of consuming red products is low here it is medium and here it is high okay then searching time 
here a, comp a customer can easily find red products so red products the searching time is low then here it is medium and it takes a lot of time to find a yellow pro quality products these are the high type products okay and the channel the channel used for these products are for red channels the channel are long the for orange products the channel are medium and for yellow products the channel are short okay this from here the question is not uh, has been yet yet asked yet but you can get extra uh, question from here in the upcoming exam there are chances to get uh, the question now what is product mix product mix is also known as product assortment which refers to the total number of product lines okay the total number of products lines which a company is offering to the consumers okay the product lines may be range from uh, one to many and the company may have uh, many products many products under the same product line okay as well and all these products lines when grouped together form a product mix of the companies means suppose let me tell you one example suppose these are the multiple product lines of the hotels okay these three lines are the product lines product line one product line two product line three so these are the three product lines here this product line you are getting the vegetable veg products okay here you are getting the veg products here you are getting the non veg products okay non veg products and in the third product line in this in this one product line you are getting this is the line 3 here you are getting the snacks and beverages okay these are the offering the snacks and beverages so this is these are the three product lines which a, a company is offering or a hotel is offering so the combination of this product line is what is a product mix I hope the concept is clear to you product mix is basically what it's a subset of marketing mix okay as we know that the product is the first P of marketing mix among the four P's so product mix is obviously the subset of marketing mix and it's an important part in any business model of the company and the product mix has the following dimensions first one is width width means uh, what type of custom what uh, what are the number of product lines the company is offering for example if a company produces only soft drinks and juices so it means that it has two products coca cola deals in one is juices and another is soft drinks and uh, another is mineral waters so hence the product mix of the coca cola has three products okay three products there are three categories width is associated with the term category now length length is what length is required to uh, length is of the product mix is referred to the total number of product okay total number of the product in the product mix suppose three products are there in the first line four products are there in the second line and third three products are there in the third line so what is the product line length product line length will be 10 okay this 10 3 plus 4 plus 3 this will be 10 will be the product line length okay and there will be 10 products under the each product lines and the length of mix is 10 into 5 50 okay this is another example and i have given you another example now depth what is the depth depth of the product line is refers to the total number of products okay total number of products within a product line for example this is the veg item yeah i am off offering mixed veg i am offering paneer butter masala i am offering uh, suppose um, veg veg biryani so these are what these are the veg products in case of non veg i have chicken handi i have chicken tandoori i have chicken butter masala uh, sorry chicken biryani so these are what these are the long veg so this is what this is depth this is the depth of the non veg products this is the uh, depth of the veg products okay now let's see the consistency consistency means what consistency means the interrelatedness how closely the products are related to each other okay here the uh, the variation is less among the products the more the consistency means what if variation is high consistency is low if the variation is low consistency is high okay so you should remember this and the uh, company should be dealing uh, de um, just de in the dairy products and more consistency than the company dealing in the types of uh, electronics okay 
now what uh, these are the three main elements which we have just seen uh, some short summary is there one liners width is what different product lines a company carry i told you suppose if a company is offering uh, buttermilk then if a company is uh, suppose dincha okay dincha is a uh, good example of product mix we can take uh, dincha is offering what ice cream this is what mango uh, mango panna or uh, sorry lassi then this uh, lassi then this is what this is milk so variety of milk is offered variety of lassis or variety of ice cream is offered by uh, this so this is product mix product line length means what number of items in a product mix suppose two uh, uh, 10 ice cream two varieties of lassi and three varieties of milk so total 50 is the the 15 is the what is the length then depth how many variants are offered in the each product line suppose in ice cream we have offering various cheer butterscotch vanilla strawberry so these are what these are the variants so this is depth and consistency means uh, cl close relation so what are what is the consistency that all these products are made up of milk so this is the consistency among the product so in today's session we will uh stop here we will discuss the new product development in the next session okay i hope you will find this session helpful kal to maine kuch nahi padha